Your call may be monitored and recorded to ensure quality customer service. We appreciate your business and can't wait to exceed your expectations. Please remain on the line and we will be with you shortly. Well, that's great to hear because I had a lot of expectations for this phone call. Hi, thank you for calling Billing. My name is Mark and who am I speaking with today? How's it going, Mark? Uh, my name's Charles. I'm calling on behalf of my web client. How you doing today? I'm doing okay. I have a meeting with her after this. So depending on how this phone call goes and the results, I think, you know, that'll determine the rest of the day. I, I understand there's nothing that you can do and you do keep reiterating that you send invoices, but this is something that you can go in in her account and verify that she's never activated them. She's never touched them. Yes, she's been billed for them. And put aside anything that has to do with, you know, your terms and conditions and how things work. As a human being, as say you were in Kathy's shoes and you were billed for these services, knowing that you didn't touch them. Now you're telling me that you guys did send stuff and you did that. But these are literally services that were put on her account. They were never activated. She, there was nothing that was, no bandwidth was used. Put them in the she signed up. I understand what you're saying. Yeah. I mean, listen, this is obviously something that's probably out of your control. If possible, I would like to speak with someone who can maybe overturn this type of decision. I understand the technicality of what you're saying, whether she set it up or not. She's calling in and using you guys as the experts to explain to her what she needs. Now, she's calling and saying she wants to set this stuff up. And after a couple bills that you're sending her, wouldn't it be due diligent on your end to maybe tell her, hey, you haven't been using these services or billing you for them? These are small business owners are dealing with a lot right now. I know you guys have millions of customers, but that also means you guys are making millions of dollars. Don't even worry about getting a refund on the card. Just put it as a credit towards your account so we could use it towards future services because we're looking to use her personal account now. That sounds great. Thank you very much. Your call may be monitored and recorded to ensure quality customer service. Oh, hi, Charles. My name's Nicole. I'm supervisor. Hi, Nicole. How's it going? So far, so good. <laughs> um, I heard you had some concerns with some billing issues. How can I assist you today? I have a, an account with you guys. I do web design, internet marketing. I've been a client with you guys forever. And my company revolves around working with small business owners, entrepreneurs. I help set up websites for them, all that good stuff. Uh, I have a client who I'm calling on behalf of, Kathy. And she had a business that she bought from a friend. And I designed a website for her and I had her log into her account and point her domain name to my web server to host her site. Now, at that time, there was nothing in her account besides just her domain name. The person she bought the business from, you know, they departed from the business. The auto renewal stopped for the personal website builder renewal, which ended on 521 of 2013. We took over the site. Now, from June of 2014, until June of 2017, there was absolutely no activity on the account. These were the first three years I was managing her website from my web server. The only thing she was paying for was obviously her domain name, you know, which is understandable. And recently she wanted to do a redesign on her website. And I told her it would probably be best since I'm using a shared hosting server that we can use your personal account to kind of put everything in your name and do everything through you. So every year you'd have to worry about contacting me to pay for hosting and then pay GoDaddy for that. So when she granted me access to her account, I noticed that starting on June of 2017, she incurred her first charge, which was for search engine visibility V1. Um, and then the next charge, which was on that same date, was economy Linux hosting with cPanel and then uh, the dot com renewal for her domain. I'm not sure if you can pull it up yourself to see if this was done over the phone or through the website, but these products would not coincide with her existing setup in her account, meaning the domain name is not pointing at her account, it's pointing to mine. So signing up for a service like search engine visibility, um, she even has charges on here for website backup. And I just looked in her account before calling you guys, and I noticed these accounts are still saying set up, meaning since they've been charged to her account, she hasn't activated them, she hasn't used them, um, and these include the economy Linux hosting with cPanel, the website backup 10 gigabytes, uh, search engine visibility v1, have all been auto billing since that start date on June 2nd of 2017. 
And I've been managing our website up until then. I'm sure you could check the servers. You'll see that the domain has always been pointed at mine. There was never any bandwidth transfer on her account. So even her, you know, cPanel setup and all that, these were never used. So hopefully I was calling before I talked to her and let her know what was kind of was going on with her account to hopefully work out something with you guys to be, you know, kind of understanding, especially during these economic times, if we can figure out a way to take that money that she was charged for the services she never used, give her a credit towards her account that we could use to help build her business more so she can continue to be a repeat customer, add on more things in the future like SSL certificates, shopping carts. You know, the goal is to continue to build her business. She did purchase all these things online in 2017, so it's just been a reoccurring bill. Mm -hmm. So we, we can, I like to work with you. Like I want to see what you're talking about as far as um, directional moving forward. And I think she's, very, very, very lucky to have such advocacy of what you're describing because you know how this works very well and I could tell by the way you've described and advocated for her. So um, I hear you and I definitely am an advocate for what you're describing also. Um, tell me this, moving forward, what products is Catherine looking to have in this account? Are we gonna be moving her hosting into this account and we need hosting because currently she's been on the monthly billing and that is something that you have a 48 hour window to refund it's reoccurring for several years so she's had several um, attempts where she could have also reached out to us as she sees this on her billing statement and there has not been any uh, discussion since then so it's something that uh, this is neglect of account management absolutely so um, and that's something we don't really manage that's up to the customer we usually are they phone in and ask for questions or help then we can guide them but it's similar to like utilities like if you move houses and you don't turn off your services you're still responsible for those services. So um, I just want to set proper expectations, but if there's something I can do, I absolutely hear you as well. And I, I want to be fair if possible. So what would be the plan moving forward? Yeah, and I respect everything you say, and I appreciate you being open-minded about this. You know, a lot of times, especially in business, there are these technicalities where you have things that you do, like send out invoices. But, you know, working with a lot of clients, especially those in web design, they're not very savvy when it comes to technology. So I realized that she may have signed up for them and they were getting auto billed and, you know, she didn't go out of her way to cancel it. But, you know, just from like a human standpoint and as someone who works at GoDaddy and you can obviously look at her account and see the billing I'm talking about and see that they weren't activated. It doesn't sit right with me just because I know what goes into the overhead cost for those services now if they're being utilized obviously i understand she should be charged for them even if she had one file uploaded or she linked the domain you know these weren't touched at all so like you said moving forward what our plan was i currently have a website to develop for on my server which the domain points to now that is not mobile friendly it's not good visibility on google instead of using my shared hosting that we could set up the existing hosting plan she has, which I didn't even realize she was being auto built for. So continue that and transfer the site, completely delete the files off my server and basically start fresh in her site with the hosting, set up an SSL certificate and basically start from scratch. She's going through a complete rebranding. We're setting up new logos. I just figured I wanted to call you guys first because as a web designer and being with you guys for as long as I have, I always recommend that my clients use you guys because it's easier for me to get access to their accounts and do things like that. I've never really had any issues. Oh, you don't have to tell me. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm not even trying to sell you. It's just, this is just, just a point of view of kind of where I'm coming from and, and just seeing, you know, just basically just trying to help business owners. That's been my whole business motto and I'm all about it. And it seems like you're for it too. I can hear it. Absolutely. Honestly, you know, having enough of these interactions, I can tell just from your communication style. So um, I do, like I said, I want to see what I can there. Is it something that you guys are making these, like, or would we be doing all that right now? Because basically what I need to do is I do have an appointment at 9 a.m. because unfortunately I'm doing external interviews in addition to uh, my role. And so what I'm thinking is if I can give you a ring back right after that interview, so that way we can continue this conversation. Um, and then that way we can go ahead and just hash it out. Um, that would be basically in a half hour. Would that be something that would be sufficient for you at this time? If you're willing to make time for me, I'm more than happy to work around your schedule. There was a Zoom call waiting and everyone was busy and I didn't want to leave the guide and you stranded, so I took it. Um, but we are a little strapped for time, so I'd like to continue this conversation if possible. Um, sir, I'm sorry, could you remind me of your name? Because I'd like to get that in your phone number for a good callback, please, for Catherine's account. Yeah, it's Charles. Shasha. Charles, thank Charles, you. Charles, yep. 
and I do appreciate you, uh, you know, kind of being understanding about this. I know this is like, it's so much to ask or view like, oh, it's been going on for this long. It's just like, it just pained me when I seen that. And especially going on with all these setbacks these businesses are having with COVID and stuff. I just hopefully that we can come to something that works for both parties. And I, I'm understanding of, you know, your situation and your limitations. But like I said, whenever you're ready, um, feel free to give me a call. I'll be sitting here waiting for you. Okay. It's, you're welcome, Charles. Take care. I'll talk to you later. Bye.